How's it going everyone? We're going to take a look at the Nendoroid of Hatake Kakashi Ambu Black Ops version, specifically from Naruto. So actually when it comes to the Naruto series, I really do like a lot of characters, but when it comes to the Nendoroids, I was trying to behave myself over these years, so I didn't buy a lot of them, if any. So this might actually be the first Naruto character that I've got as a Nendoroid. I can't remember, but uh, yeah, so I'm very excited for this one because I am a big fan of Kakashi. He's my favorite character from the series. Uh, and here we have the Ambu version specifically. I know there is a regular version that came out some time ago, so this one is quite new. But here we have the packaging. We'll go through the packaging, and then we'll go through the actual figure itself. So package-wise, it's pretty similar to most other recent Nendoroids. So it's got this kind of small, stout stature to it, I guess. It's got a bit of a stone effect around the packaging front here and then the top here. Various sort of pictures in and around the sides, top and bottom and the back of the figure in different kind of setups. So using the uh, lightning blade thing um jutsu there and then with the mask in his hand and so on so yeah really cool looking stuff so far oh he does also come over his little blade sword too that's really cool but there we have him just kind of hiding there oh his shotgun's gun's exposed i don't know why i'm surprised with this. it's just been a while and yeah i'm just quite excited that it's kakashi as an android let's get this open and then we'll talk through it and here's everything laid out that you get inside the box I've got a terrible cough, so I'll probably have lots of cuts in this video. But let's go through the option part, and then we'll go through the figure. So you get the base stand here. Like most Nendoroids, it's pretty much the same thing like most Nendoroids. Uh, it does have the trademarking thing here. You can see there, it's probably not going to focus, but that's fine. And then you just kind of got the like hat stand bit that you attach it to the back of the figure. This bit is quite long, you can see, but we'll go through that in a little bit more detail later on. You also get a spare dark navy blue or midnight blue neck joint there. And of course, just like all the good smile or an android um, joints, they will have that little smile there on one side. So it's kind of an indicator if you've got a real copy or not. Don't let it roll away. And then coming on to the faces. So the first face that we get, or the first alternate face for this figure, is Kakashi looking off to the left a little bit. Now, just like all the other Nendoroids in the past that I've covered, they all have really nice, crisp looking expressions and details on them. And this is no different here. So particularly, obviously, we're going to talk about the, the Sharingan eye. So he's got the three Tomoe there. You can see one of them is a little bit cut off because that's kind of naturally his eyelids kind of covering that ever so slightly. You've got a scar down the left eye too. And then the left and right eyebrow is slightly different, slightly different. Uh, which is cool as well. Overall, pretty cool looking eyes, pretty cool looking face sculpt. It's always nice and clean with Nendoroid stuff, so I don't really have anything to complain about with their faces, generally speaking. Of course, you've got the mask as well, because it wouldn't be Kakashi without that. The other important one that this guy comes with is, of course, going to be the Ambu mask here with a fox mask. You can see that. Now, this, I just want to point out, first thing is it is quite glossy and shiny. So bear that in mind when you handle this. You don't want to accidentally scratch it. You may have very surface level scratches. I've got one or two very, very minor ones that may or may not show up on this video. But just keep that in mind so you don't accidentally scuff it because it is quite glossy, but it looks good. It's good. Uh, you can see all the details here going from the right of the mask down to the left or to the left of the mask. Symmetrical and here's the eyes. They are just painted black. You can't see through them. And then you've got the little mouth and then the nostrils there as well. I feel like, or if it just seems like I've got a little kind of crack. It's almost got that porcelain look, which is why it's probably so glossy and that really looks great because if I think it looks porcelain then that's that's a great thing but I feel like it's got a little crack on one of the nostrils it's super minor but yeah just kind of keep an eye on that of course you've got the hair of Kakashi or parts of the hair uh, already stuck to the mask and then this is the back side of it you might be thinking well he doesn't have an alternate face well actually it just goes off on or on top of either one of these faces and I'll show that later on in this video but here's just a quick look it literally just goes on like that and then you attach it to the, the main body so it's quite straightforward very cool it wouldn't be Ambu Kakashi if it didn't come with that Kakashi also comes with a pair of different arms so the way Nendoroids work is you can kind of take these apart and combine it in different kind of formations how you like so when you get it out of the box you will have this right angle arm here for both the left and the right uh, and you can tell by the left and the right because the left one has the Ambu mark there on the left shoulder. Same with the other one already attached to the figure. So you shouldn't mess that up or confuse them. And then you've got the right angle of the forearm here with the arm guard you can see there that tapers off to the hand. So you shouldn't mess that up either. Plus it's got a peg on one side. And then you've got the hand there which on the back side of the hand you've got the knuckle guard. And then this hand is going to be to hold his sword. And then same is going to be for the left one as well. So they are the same thing, but it's going to be left and right. Like I said, left one has the marking there. Um, so what I mean is you can take the hand off here and then you can take this shoulder bit off here. So you're left with just the right angle elbow, 
you can do the same with the other arm as well. And then as you do that, you can basically mix and match the combinations as you want. So if you wanted a different hand on that, say this hand there, on this hand, you can do that. It is quite flexible. Kakashi also comes with a hand attachment like this, which is already holding a miniature version of the Anbu masks or the fox mask there. So it's kind of funny, I guess, because the mask is like this big fat size like that and then it shrinks down to this if you want to swap it off where he's maskless and just holding it. It's kind of cute, but it's already attached to the hand, so you can't use this hand on its own. So yeah, it's completely one piece. This Kakashi also comes with a bent knee just for the right leg only, and you can tell because the right leg has a pouch. There you can see the pouch on the right leg. So again, you shouldn't mess that up. Just like I said before with the joints, you'll see the good smile face uh, there hidden. Uh, but otherwise, it's just a right knee. There is no articulation. You just got to pre-attach or reattach the foot from there onto this. And I'll show you that later in the video. He also comes with his sword, which is pre-mounted, you might say, uh, with a big gaping hole in the center. And you might have guessed that that's where the stand goes through. And I'll show you that too later on. You got a flat piece there or a thick piece sticking out like so. That rests on his back. And then this bit should be facing outwards when you do attach it. This little handle piece here, you can just pull out there. Actually, to be honest, I thought it was going to be up further up. But yeah, you can pull that out. Uh, it does go in both ways. There is no right or wrong way to do it. Uh, and then when you do do that, of course, we then go on to the sword, which is slightly smaller overall in proportions. So kind of like the mask, once you've got the sword equipped and he's wielding the sword, it's going to be more in proportion with the body rather than the, uh, I guess, the head, I guess. So when you don't have it equipped, it's this big, like so. You can see the size difference. And if you want to equip it, then it's going to be this kind of, tiny or big whichever one it is but you can see there the handle is got the same design there and then we come down to the actual main portion of the blade like so so that's pretty easy to do and i'll show you that now actually i might as well just show you now so we've got one of the hands it's going to be the same just yeah slot it into the hand or and that's it that's all it is and then just take it out if you want to do the same thing for the other hand if you want to use the right hand then he also finally comes with this effect piece the chidori or lightning effect piece here so this one doesn't attach to a hand specifically it's got a peg you can see it right here that peg just goes right into the forearm itself uh, i can't remember which one had this recently it's probably an sh figure arts i think it was but yeah it just attaches straight directly into the arm and then you'll have this effect piece blasting out of him. And it looks pretty good. You can do it on the left or the right arm. There is no right or wrong way to do it. It is just kind of a generic uh, circle looking peg that goes into, yeah, any, any arm. Then we come into the Kakashi Nendoroid itself, which is very small in stature, just like most Nendoroids. And it kind of fits nicely in my palm, you can see. Typical of Nendoroid, in a positive way, it's very clean looking. It looks great. It's very adorable to me. Starting with the hair then, Kakashi has this really iconic wild uh, gray fox silver he's like a silver fox right um if it was an old man i guess it's an old man yeah silver fox type of hair it just looks really really great the coloration and the gradation on the hair you know through each strand is very good as well it kind of might look better in the promos i'm not gonna lie <clears throat> but it's not bad hair either it does look good the spikes are really great the formation of it very good and like i said the color is very good as well uh and yeah the hair overall very good it's not too spiky to be kind of of a concern when you're handling it unlike some androids so this should be okay and then even when you kind of take off the bangs to change faces or add on the mask it's not a problem there either. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Onto the face then. So you might notice that the face is quite similar to the other one. I'll just bring it out just to show you. So the alternate face, he's looking to the left a little bit. And then the normal one, he's kind of just pointing or looking straight ahead, which is fine. I don't mind it. I do think that maybe articulated eyes is probably something that it should start bringing in, I think, for nendoroids. Maybe it's a bit too much work. Who knows? But you've got the same sort of stuff with the other face. So you've got the three Tomoe uh, shining on the left eye with a scar down it and then kind of a blank, dead-looking eye uh, on the right. It's not dead, but it's just so plain. But otherwise, he's yeah, pretty much the same face as the one before. Coming down to the body, so he is wearing his Anbu mask. So uh, not Anbu mask, the Anbu uniform. So that is this kind of grey over waist armor thing, body armor, with a kind of plain ninja outfit underneath or spandex whatever you want to call it underneath uh, and then he's got bare shoulders as i mentioned the right shoulder is bare left shoulder has the ambu marking there and then he's got the forearm guards here on both arms there the right arm is slightly different because he's got those bandages or wraps just at that point there uh, and then on the back side you've got a little peg hole there and then minor details of the arm so he's armor he's not really wearing the most detailed outfit which is fine i mean he is a ninja they really shouldn't be wearing like super detailed eye-catching outfits anyway down to the rest is quite plain as well. So similar to the top, he's got a little bit of a bandage there 
uh, his pouches on his right leg. We saw that on the bent knee as well. The left is quite plain, so it kind of mimics the arm too. And then we come and finish down to his little booties, uh, which are very, very tiny, very cute, but you only get this one pair. But as I said, you do have to take this one off just like so to put it onto the bent knee. We'll go into that in a little bit more detail later on. So otherwise, he is quite a fairly basic figure overall. Uh, not a negative, but I don't know. I mean, I don't not like it, but it is quite basic. As I said, though, and I'll repeat it probably a few times, I do think it's a basic enough figure that new people can get on board with it and they should be comfortable with it. As always, though, just be careful of losing some of these small parts and we'll go into changing parts now as well. So, so starting with the face, we're just going to take off the bangs. Anyone who's got an end away should be quite familiar with this. Then you take off the face. The face does have a one on there or a two, depending on which face you're using. We'll add on this alternate face right here where he's looking away a little bit and then return the hair like so and that's how simple it is with this figure and most nendoroids to add the mask all you got to do is just remove the hair and then add this other piece the mask piece onto it but as i mentioned the mask is glossy so just keep that in mind so you don't scuff anything and there we go that's what it's going to look like once you've got the fox mask on which i think looks really really cool it's quite big i personally actually prefer just regular kakashi's eyes showing but this is cool nonetheless. Now, if you want to change the arms, it's pretty simple, really. You just pull it off. He's not got a lot of articulation. I even skipped along it because it's pretty much just up and down and a little bit of a twist there. Um, so we kind of pull that off there if you want to just take that off and then swap, let's say, the right arm here. Uh, we need to take this shoulder off. Just remember that. So take that shoulder off and then we'll add the right arm like so. And then there we go. And then we'll add the sword too. So I already attached it to the left arm. So I'm going to remove that and then add that to the right hand. So just like this, really simple. That's, that's all it is. It's very, very simple. Similarly, if you want to take off the left arm, you can do that as well. If you want to change this hand to another one, you can do that too. He doesn't come with alternate left hands minus the one to hold the sword. So it's not really going to be that different. Then we come down to the legs now, just quickly covering the articulation here, just up and down. And you got to twist it a little bit and rotate to get the leg a bit more up that way. Take off the leg by just pulling it out, the shoe came off, just pull it out from the hips like so. And then we'll get the right leg again, the alternate right leg, and then just slot that in. Replace the foot onto this leg. And then there we go, we've got Kakashi holding, uh, well, with his right leg, uh, with his foot attached. Actually, what I'll do, I'll also include this. So I'm gonna add this on. So what you might wanna do, when you add the lightning piece, effect piece, it might be easier to just take off the forearm and do it that way instead, uh, just so you can, you know, it, I think it's easier just to do it this way. You can keep it all attached, but I found it easier this way. I think the peg on mine is quite, quite thick, uh, but here we go. Add that in the rest of the arm. Line up or just sort out the kind of, uh, the way the uh, effect bit thing kind of is. I'm just doing it roughly here, but line it up, change the arms however you want, and then that's pretty much how it is right it's quite simple to do um, but that's it that's really all it is to Kakashi you don't really uh, have much to change with him and that's why I said it's a very good figure for uh, fans to just kind of or new fans I mean I dropped it be careful not to drop it but it's a very basic figure so if you're concerned or new to the kind of nendoroids or figures in general I would recommend it just for that alone so to just attach it to the back you can just plainly attach this all the way to the back it is a hexagonal back piece there um, or if you want to use the blade bit the sword and it's a scabbard just line it up like that or this is a better way to do it just basically plug that in there then plug it into the back of the figure like so and then just fix up the way it's angled and everything i've taken off the arms just to kind of give you that visibility there that's all you got to do with the kakashi figure and that's it that really now is it with this figure Overall, this figure is pretty good. It doesn't come with a lot. And I think that's probably a great thing for beginner people that are collecting and of this size in particular, or Nendoroids in particular. It's quite easy to change parts and get the kind of look that you want. Obviously, if you're new to it, don't lose the parts. Even if you're not new to it, don't lose the parts because they are quite small. I have a small bias or a big bias to Kakashi from the series. He is one of my favorite characters from that. And so I really love the figure. I think with Nendoroids though, I know what to expect generally. They are almost always very good. They have a set standard that always looks good. Everything's clean. Everything like from the paint to the sculpt, it looks clean and proper. And I like that with Nendoroids. So it really is just about what character that you really feel attached to. I'm really attached to Anbu Kakashi and Kakashi in general. 
So I really do like this figure. As I said, and I'll say it for the last time, if you are new to Nendoroids, then I think this is a good one to pick up so you can familiarize yourself with something of this scale. Very good pickup in my opinion. And if you're a big Kakashi fan, then I recommend it for that alone as well. With that said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.